an issue that started all the way back on March 31st on Monday Night Raw, comes to an end here tonight, Sunday night, June 26th, right here tonight in Phoenix at SummerSlam. The charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy, wanted to go extreme. His wish was granted, but now for the first time, he doesn't just meet the prince, he meets the demon. This is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be extreme. Jeff Hardy has been out for retribution for the last number of months to right the wrongs that Finn Balor bestowed upon him. The night Jeff Hardy defeated Finn Balor on Monday Night Raw and Finn Balor decided to snap and take out his aggression on the charismatic enigma. Balor may have originally stated that Jeff was in the wrong place at the wrong time, but as we've seen week after week, this rivalry between the two is far past that moment. Jeff Hardy wants to beat the hell out of Finn Balor. Balor wants to keep Jeff Hardy down for good. These two men have been hell bent on getting the last laugh over each other. But it all comes down to this here tonight. There will be no rematch after this. It's one more round between Jeff Hardy and Finn Balor. And you almost had to have this match an Extreme Rules match after a couple of weeks ago on Raw where these two men couldn't even kick off their one-on-one -on -one match because the brawl took place on the stage. And now, the man Jeff Hardy wanted and the man Finn Balor promised, the return of the demon. Finn Balor, the demon, has risen in Phoenix. And whether you like the actions in the recent months of the Prince, it is an awe-inspiring entrance. And it takes over the arena when the demon rises. Finn Balor knew that if things were going to be extreme, that if things must be come to an end, that it was time for the demon to come alive. You wanna talk about a big fight feel. You wanna talk about a big time matchup. Look no further than this collision right here, right now. This situation won't be settled until these two men have let loose inside the squared circle where there'll be no holds barred. No disqualifications, no countouts, no restrictions, anything goes. Jeff Hardy wants extreme. Finn Balor's bringing what he wants. This is gonna be a fight in Phoenix. And imagine what's going through the mind of Jeff Hardy as he witnesses the demon enter the arena for the very first time. It is all inspiring as we mentioned. It's bone chilling and it's absolutely memorizing. And for the opponents of Finn Balor, it could be exactly what Finn is looking for with a mental advantage. It could clearly take them out of the game. But with Jeff Hardy's eye on retribution, and Jeff Hardy's will to want to get back at Finn Balor. Will the mind games be enough to take Jeff Hardy off the edge? You want to talk about the stage being set? It is here. It is now. And it's time for Extreme Rules. This match only ends by pinfall or submission. Absolutely anything goes, as you know. And the bell has sounded, and for the first time, Jeff Hardy meets the demon. 
And Jeff Hardy's got to be wondering if there's going to be any sort of difference inside the squared circle between the Prince who he has meant before and the Demon Finn Balor. It's one thing to watch from the outside. It's another thing to be in there with the Demon himself who takes Jeff Hardy right off his feet. And just imagine what Finn Balor is going to be capable of. Not just as the Demon with absolutely no rules being applied here tonight. Jeff Hardy taking Finn Balor down. He's got to be precautious here. He's got to keep his eye on whatever the game plan is of the Demon at the moment. As Jeff Hardy goes for the shot of there's Finn Balor so fast. He can strike you from anywhere. Once again grabs a hold of Jeff. And drops him with that suplex. Remember the last time Finn Balor dropped Jeff Hardy with a suplex was through the, through the table in the backstage area. Nearly a month ago, where well, this thing really took to a new level that night. As Balor, look at this, goes for the drop kick, but Jeff Hardy dodges it. The Demon eats the canvas, and now Jeff Hardy trying to strike and move on the Demon Finn Balor. It's going to be interesting also to see who's going to be the first one to take advantage of the Extreme Rules affair here tonight. Right now, it looks like the Demon doesn't need any sort of weapons in mind as he's using the mental game and the physical damage over Jeff Hardy. But there's Jeff Hardy taking Finn once again off his feet. And Finn's down and Jeff Hardy, the charismatic Enigma's going to the outside. He wanted extreme rules because it's a match he knows very well and Jeff is bringing the wood. Jeff Hardy takes out the table as you saw before this matchup, and as we just mentioned, Finn Balor put Jeff Hardy through the wood of the table before. I'm sure Jeff Hardy's got that in mind here tonight. As this fight is now taken to the outside, and Finn Balor suplexes Jeff Hardy right down on the floor and fouls it up with an elbow. Jeff Hardy's got to be careful, man. The demon is so dangerous. He's only been beaten on a few occasions. Finn Balor is at his most dominant, quite possibly at his best, when he dawns the paint. Finn Balor headed inside of the ring. Jeff Hardy going to go after him here. Jeff, remember, just slid in that table a moment ago, and Finn Balor with that neck breaker right down to the bottom of the table, which is going to hurt even more after Jeff Hardy falls on those steel legs. Jeff's got a fight, man. And there you see it. He doesn't want to give the advantage to Finn Balor. And Jeff going after that table that he just brought into the ring a moment ago. Oh, and he just hits Finn Balor in the back with it. You can put your opponent through the wood. You can also use the wood as a weapon. Finn Balor is down. Jeff Hardy grabbing a hold. Finn counters. And Finn Balor takes Jeff off his feet with the knees. And Finn going into the cover. And remember, for Finn, this is really about just beating Jeff Hardy one more time. And finally just one-upping Jeff Hardy to the point where Jeff Hardy doesn't come back for any more. You all saw the video package before. The entrance is here tonight of how this whole thing has progressed the last number of once. And ever since Money in the Bank, it seemingly just seems that Finn Balor just wants Jeff Hardy out of his way for good. And Jeff Hardy, look at that. Corkscrews the knee out from the Demon. And Jeff goes for the clothesline there. The Demon sidesteps him. And now Finn striking fast and striking hard on the charismatic Enigma. And now Finn Balor grabbing that table that Jeff Hardy placed in the ring a moment ago. And Jeff follows it up, grabbing a knee and a drop kick there. And lucky for Finn, the table didn't split. And Jeff Hardy going to be looking to Bring the extreme rules to this contest here. And wait a minute, the table precariously in that corner. And a power bomb to the demon through the wood. And Jeff gonna go for the cover. Looking to put Finn Balor away here. But Balor gets the shoulder up. Jeff Hardy power bomb and Finn Balor right through the wood of the table. Vengeance for over a month ago when Finn did the same to Jeff. 
That DDT, and I believe Finn Balor may have hit the broken pieces of the table on the way down. It's going to make for an even harder impact as Jeff is once again going to the outside of the ring. And Jeff is pulling out yet another table from underneath the ring here at Phoenix. And Finn Balor, however, comes out of the ring with the corkscrew and takes Jeff Hardy off his feet. This has been an absolute brawl back and forth since the opening bell. As Jeff takes down Finn on the outside here, and I'm going to send Finn Balor right to the barricade. Now the charismatic Enigma hanging up Finn Balor. And look at this, and strikes him with a knee. Or excuse me, strikes him with a kick right to the head. It's a move that can cause you a concussion. It's the last thing you want in a matchup like this. As Finn's down, Jeff sends that table into the ring. Jeff's going back under the ring, however, but Finn Balor gets there to cut him off. And Finn Balor almost seems to a point that he doesn't really feel the need to go after the weapons here tonight. He has been all striking in this match against Jeff Hardy. Finn Balor may be relying on the demon persona and the mind games instead of the weapons and the extreme rules factor. And opposed to Jeff Hardy, who wants to go extreme here tonight, as he's now pulling out the steel of a ladder. Jeff Hardy turning this into a tables, ladders, and chairs match, essentially, as the table's in the ring, and now with the ladders in there as well. Jeff grabbing a hold of the wood, and he strikes Finn Balor. Finn falls down on that ladder. You got all these weapons inside the ring. You got to be careful where you're landing because it's going to make the landings even more impactful as Jeff takes Finn Balor over on the ladder and Finn down and out. Oh, wait a minute. And Jeff follows it up with a mood so pinning Finn Balor between the ladder and himself. And that is going to be a harsh maneuver in the later rounds of this contest. You take away the rib cage of a man, it's going to be a, a lot hell of a harder to fight. Finn right there takes out Jeff. Lucky for Jeff, I think he just missed the ladder off that DDT. But Finn follows it up with a double stop. And Finn going up here. Could be looking for that coup de grace, but nonetheless, Jeff Hardy's there. She's been very back and forth. And just a brawl between the men since the opening bell. As Jeff goes back to the outside, grabbing a hold of the table, but Finn Balor is right there to go after him here and takes Jeff Hardy off his feet. STO, Jeff Hardy's back, eats the floor here of the Footprint Center in Phoenix. The tables, oh, Finn Balor looking for him, just missed the table. He almost got sent right through the wood once again by Jeff Hardy. Jeff's got his eye on the table. I think he wants to send it right back into the ring where it was originally. There's a brawl here at ringside right now. We knew things were going to come to this. I mean, these brawls are what we've been witnessing for weeks between Jeff Hardy and Finn Balor. Ever since Money in the Bank it was first Finn Balor attacking Jeff. Back in the backstage area, that was Jeff Hardy hitting Finn Balor over the head with a chair. And as we mentioned earlier on, these two men were set to conclude this rivalry a number of weeks ago on Raw in a one-on-one -on -one match that never even took place as the brawl between the two men made their way from the locker room out onto the stage, and Finn Balor laid out the charismatic enigma at the top of the ramp. Hence the reason why we got this Extreme Rules match tonight, where anything goes, and the only way this thing is going to end is by pinfall or submission. Jeff looking good. He's got the demon down here. He's got him... In a precarious predicament, Jeff grabbing the wood of the table once again and just smacks the demon right over the head with it. Also got that ladder in the ring, Jeff Hardy. I'm sure he's got plans for that maneuver as well. As Jeff sets up the table. And Jeff has been the innovator and the initiator of the violence in this matchup as Finn is leaning up against the wood. Oh, wait a minute here. Talk about payback from a number of months ago. Jeff Hardy suplex through the table. Exactly how Finn Balor sent him through the table on Raw over a month ago. Jeff, wait a, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What the hell just happened? The lights went out here in the arena. Jeff Hardy went for the ladder. The lights went out. And suddenly the demon 
is back in control of this contest. What the hell is going on? Coup de gras! What did we just witness? Finn Balor has defeated Jeff Hardy. What the hell just went down? Finn Balor, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute here. Finn Balor using the mind game to the, oh. Je oh, wait a minute, that is not good. Jeff Hardy just snapped. Jeff Hardy just snapped a little bit and knocked out our referee, but, but nonetheless, Finn Balor using the mind games to his advantage. Finn Balor puts the final nail in the coffin of this rivalry. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.